Hello friends, welcome to another episode or another video where we analyze the markets on the Vorex market specifically. My name is Jay Flores and we are going to see a few pairs today. We're going to scan through the pairs to, to see what we got for the week. Previously I already checked the Forex calendar for strong news and um, just a first glance they didn't look too complicated. I didn't see any red folders that are pertaining too much for um, for Forex. I mean the market obviously always moved based on news but um, nothing nothing very very strong for this week so we should have a kind of a, if we call it normal markets. Uh, today is Sunday, the 27th, and thank you for being with me today. Welcome all new subscribers to this channel. Thank you for subscribing. We're trying to get uh, at least a thousand subscribers so we can start doing some. Um, I have a few subscribers asking to do, you know, signals. Um, in reality, I don't, don't want to like send signals at this point. What I would be open to do is to do live trading, you know, where we can analyze the markets live, you know, at the right time and look for entries. But that wouldn't be signal. That's just uh, me showing you how I'm taking the trades pretty much. So I've been using the simplicity system. I've been using it for a while, say maybe more than a year. But two months ago, I started doing this project on video where I show you the trades that I'm taking just in this um, account specific account where it's a small account so I can show you pretty much the trades um, I do have a bigger account but I don't want to risk showing you know my numbers and my identification numbers because I can make a mistake and just show it to the world or show it to a lot of people <laughs> On video so I rather do it on this again it's a small account but you can I, I show you my trades and and I'm gonna show you my trades and continue showing my trades either they lose or they won okay so let's look quick at this week uh, in the beginning of the week I didn't took a lot well I took a lot of trades in the beginning of the week uh, let me scroll it down just to see the last um a few trades that I took and if I click here I can put custom period last Sunday it was today was today if today is the 27 oh, seven days well let me see uh I think it was I can see the calendar right here last Sunday it was the 20th and to till today so custom period it will show me exactly just this week so this is a trade that i took this week okay uh, on both of my accounts and the last trade that i took it was on chf jpy that was a losing trade as you can see it right there i lost um although i wasn't very sure about it um not not that i wasn't sure everything was lined up but it was on Friday, so I lower a little my my uh, lot size just because of that reason. But I lose about 53, 94 minus 53. Well, that's about 40 something pips. But in the beginning of the week, you know, we had a good, good week, right? Real good week, okay? More than 100 pips. I am not looking for a lot of pips. I am looking every trade I'm looking for uh, since I'm trading on the 30 minutes specifically I'm looking for 20 30 pips um, maybe you know once I started getting the hang of this strategy I may be let it run for longer periods of time but right now I'm still working full-time in my career so I'm only looking for for short trades 20 30 pips and that's it I had a question also what are the uh, moving averages that I'm using I am using moving average the 50 moving average right here and also the eighth moving average 
The reason I picked those is um, if you notice, the triple arrows are almost very, very close to that cross and the triple arrow entry. Let's let's look back. Let's see if I can move my chart here without no problems. Yeah, I can move it. Let's let's look at another one. Cross right at that right at the triple arrow and the cross of those two. Okay. And I'll show you one more. Just to try to prove my point. Cross right here and the triple arrows and triple arrow shows up. So most of the time. Okay. Well, all the time. Let me make this smaller. And um so those are the moving averages. Uh, fortunately, we also have this indicator. So if I wouldn't have the triple arrows right there, I would just use the 50 and the 8th. Uh, and look for those zones. Pretty much it's what I'm looking at. It's the triple arrows and the zones. That's another advantage. Which are highs and lows pretty much in the market. And once I get those triple arrows, I will look for confirmation. And the special MACD, and this is a free indicator you can get momentum below the 100. And then this is another, the transurfer, long term, short term. This is all lined up in the color. And then the strength indicator. So normally when a trade is going to go, you, you might, you're probably asking yourself, well, that's many indicators to lined up. What well, would that happen when a trade is going to go? everything lines up automatically that's what happens okay so it, it's gonna lined up let's let's see that entry right there let me show you let's say we had a triple there right there then I looked down and it was crossing to the green right here momentum was about above the hundred the short term green long term green so at, when the trade is gonna happen everything's gonna lined up and also I look at the strength indicator and if I had the 15 and the 30 since I am 30 and trading excuse me in the 30 minutes it just happens it lines up all the time so if I don't see an opportunity I just don't go even this is if, even if this looks like perfect like right now right triple arrow that's an entry right there below red 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 everything lines up for that one right it might go it might go right it might go over the, in the next hours but this is not the right timing okay i want to stick um to the timing that i take the trades because there's time when the one of the sessions starts and uh will they will they do pullbacks and they they eat your trade pretty much well they're looking for your they're going to stop hunt you and you got to know where it is, okay? And that's part of the training also of the simplicity system, okay? A lot of people are asking me, but you know, I, I was not the creator of the system, so I am not allowed, unless you already own simplicity, then I can tell you because you already um, pay the fee for the training. You already own simplicity, and then, uh, then I can help. But otherwise, I'm, I'm so sorry. I mean, you normally... Even even if you buy the strength indicator, which is a lot cheaper, I can help you that way. No problem. Just just gotta show me you did it. <laughs> You're part of the family, um, and I'll happily happily help you with that. Okay, let's start scanning for the markets um, right away. Okay, so we also have this indicator right here, which which is weird because a month two months ago this was free now i can't find it for free now they're selling it okay anywhere online so um but again if you're part of simplicity family and you can show me on my telegram um i i can give it to you no problem okay so you don't have to pay for it because it was it's, it was free i don't know what happened okay let's get it going your usd uh, what do we got we got 30 minutes on the zell zone right here we got triple arrows everything's lining up as we speak but it's not the right timing to enter this trade okay so i'm not i'm not gonna enter this trade yet because it's not our time 
NCD USD. I'm just just looking for prospects. That one looks real good too. Hopefully, uh, it looks real good in our time in the mornings, and we'll see NCD JPY. The market's looking real real good. That one already went up. It's it's, it's doing a pullback. Okay, but that's a possibility also when the market starts going up, it'll be a good possibility. Euro NCD. It's already extended. No, you know, those are good, good uh, markets also. Um, and let me do an exercise right here. Normally, um, I don't do it all the time. The strategy doesn't ask you to do this, but uh, normally if you're going to enter on 30 minutes, I like to look um the four hour time frame to see the real direction of the markets okay so now i can see the real direction of the market at this point and if i look left the, and this is another another class you know that we can do but uh i look at the structure you know the market up down these are major zones right here major zone major zones um major zones major zones major zones right here okay <clears throat> and then the market breaks this top right here so that this becomes the major zone now now the market it's um if, if i'm looking at this structure okay i'm not looking at this minor zones right here i'm looking at the whole structure um the market is trending up right one two three is breaking up so that means that at any time the market is going to maybe drop. I don't know how far. And then it's going to keep going up on this one. So, but right now the four hour is definitely trending in the four hour. Okay. It's definitely, or let me say in the one hour. I want you to see this. Market is doing this, then up, then this low, which broke right here. So it's definitely trending to the, to the bottom. And we have a major zone right here, which is major zones right here too. That's where the market's sitting right now. But if definitely if we get a 30 minute here, I know that's going to be a pullback just for the four hour. Okay, look at the four hour. Four hours coming down and it has room, right, to come down at least this. So on the 30 minutes, this can pull back. And if we catch a small pull, but like this, this is 117 pips. And then obviously continue down. But uh, just to get a better idea, if you're going to enter a trade, you can do a quick analysis on that trade. Or if you're just going to do a strategy, just follow it and go for 20, 30 pips that it's going to give you to you. Look. If you get a triple arrow anywhere here and everything lines up, even the strength meter, you don't think you're going to get, look, 30 pips right there. This this move, you know that at least is going to move. If it moves 50% of the way, that's 120. A quarter of the way, that's about 50 pips. This is going for 30. Around there, that will be good enough for us. And those are very... Um, because we're going for 20, 30 pips. That's why you're going to win a lot of trades. Because you're not asking, you know, to give you 100, 100, 100 pips a day. You don't need that. I mean, if you're that kind of trader, that's fine. Uh, but we're looking for just in and out, you know, 20, 30 pips. That's day trading, pretty much. All right, let's keep it going. Out in CD. Okay, I'm going to just stop where I see triple arrows. We've got triple arrows right there. So I know it's going sideways for the moment. But this can drop any time or it can broke to the top. So it all depends what it does. Um, and if it starts dropping and everything lined up, and I we can take this trade also. Looking for triple arrows. Same idea right there. NCD right there market's looking real real good i mean you can see right away with the market it's just you know it's preparing to do nice moves for this week i don't like that you have contradicting very close i just skip those pretty much not they're not ready 
these are clean you know triple arrows here or anywhere in this area they're going to be clean entries no problem oh jpy clean entries look at that one that's that's a beautiful entry right now it's so tempting right everything lined up except the uh, macd is just right on the center you know well we're gonna keep an eye see if the one is ready that one's already developing this is better to wait for a pullback and maybe look, look for a continuation okay too tight contradicting very close to each other USD JPY USD CAD GP and CD that's a good one right there also that one looks okay a little choppy but it's okay GP and CD I'm sorry GP USD it's already developing this in the met in the middle right there just in the middle of zones so let's just just leave them for now especially for this strategy middle of the zone nope nope not interested this one it's okay already pull and then it's pulling back so it might have a possibility for a continuation if it works that way you pcad it's beautiful we'll wait for triple arrows on those and gp chf same same idea right here well okay friends thank you for spending this minutes with me if you're again i repeat please hit that like notification button subscribe and if this is the first time please subscribe and um invite your friends share it with uh, somebody who's interested in simplicity i'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers so we can start doing some live trading um also if you haven't acquired the system and you're interested in getting it this is actually um the super easy system simplicity and the too easy simplicity runs around 299 plus tax but it's not only the indicators you get into the group where you get two live sessions every week tuesday and wednesday directly from the owner of the company which is going to teach you and you can ask your questions he's not going to close the uh, the live session until all the questions are being answered and if you are interested in the too easy that comes with this strength indicators which is ridiculous real good it runs and it comes with uh this macd right here this one is a free indicator I can give it to you if you if you bought it under my link this one is a free indicator i can give it to you um if you buy it under my link just please let me know in the telegram a hey, purchase the system with your link can you please uh send me the the indicators or this i'm talking about this ones okay too easy macd that comes from super easy and you get also other indicators and a special strategy with arrows which is real real nice also okay with too easy and that's only like 99 dollars it's very very cheap stop losing your money you're gonna if you follow the rules on this i don't want to say i guarantee because all depends on your discipline but if you follow the rules too easy you'll make the money no problem Thank you, friends. God bless you all. See you guys on Wednesday to review the markets one more time. God bless you all. See you.